Welcome back to Tibbs Farm. Today, I'm gonna try taking that lumber that we went and uh, cut up yesterday and make myself a little chicken coop. I uh, don't really have any plans, like blueprints. Uh, I have an idea in my head. <laughs> Come along for the journey. And let's hope this all works out. Realized that the phone stopped recording. Already got most of the frame already done. Um, here's where I'm at now. Here's the bottom of it. I have 10 and a half inches to the bottom of here. Um, these aren't, uh, you know, store-bought lumber. This is the two by threes mentioned in uh, the video from yesterday. Um, this front post up here, it's uh, three feet, four inches. That's not a crack, that's a stick. Uh, these legs back here are three feet. And then here's the planks. Uh, this wood is extremely hard. So I've been having to drill even for the nails going in. And basically I'm just planking out and I'm gonna be boarding across. Then I'll be getting this and getting it up on top here and then planking the sides. So we got all the uh, floorboards in. Went to go put the top piece in and battery died so got this side uh, walls installed work on that side uh, this is gonna be the front I'm gonna have a little ramp right there in the middle that I can put on the hinge and open and close it in the back <laughs> honestly I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do the little nesting boxes so <sighs> But starting to run out of daylight. Sun's already over the horizon. So don't have much time left. Well, I got both sides on. I'm now actually working on the, uh, the door slash ramp, which you can see right here. Uh, this is the uh, 7 8 uh, planks. Um, <laughs> That, that very last plank that I went and made. And I found some one by twos, I'm literally just screwing them across to hold the two planks together and to give the chickens basically kind of little steps for the ramp. All right. Well, here's the ramp slash door completed. I found some old brass hinges out in the, uh, out in the shop barn garage whatever you want to call it um, still have to get the other hinge on got to get that one lined up so that they don't interfere with each other but you can kind of see a rough translation of how it's gonna look yes there's only one screw holding the hinge to the coop for now but it comes up oh, I wish I had a better angle on here so that's the door closed. I'll have to come up with some kind of latch. But, yep. I got the front all done. I guess not all done. I still need to come up with a latch. But that's what it looked like closed and then opening. And as far as nesting box, Made a shelf, basically just took another two by three, have a half offset on one of the planks, and then screwed the plank to it. For this particular size, I just got a cinder block, a two by three, and then two little offshoots of uh, uh, another plank. Brings the bottom edge to about 12 inches. And let's see if I can prop you up somehow. There we go. And then literally just set it down there to go and get my 
my height. Once I got my height, I then took two more uh, two by threes, screw them into the side, both sides, and now if I want, I can take this out. Bam. Next step is gonna be to screw in two screws on that side, two screws on this side, and then start making the backboard and we're gonna be having another hinge so we can come in and then grab the eggs. Um, still plan on making dividers. I'm thinking could probably get away with three dividers making four boxes. I got so. shelf all the way on. I ended up putting a, another two by three in the back. Um, some of that was actually so that I can actually have some place to attach the backboards. I still have to go and finish up the last bit. And I think this one's gonna run this way with probably two hinges, maybe three if I can find them. And it's gonna swing this way. Yeah. That way. Uh, still need to figure out how I want to go and have the actual dividers, but it's work in progress, so. And there's no blueprints. It's all up in my head, just trying to figure things out. This is gonna be the back where we're able to reach in and grab the eggs. Unfortunately, I didn't have a plank uh, wide enough, so I had to rip them down and then stitch them together, but um, right now I'm actually deciding if I want this to be on the inside or onto the outside. Uh, originally I was thinking just having this on the outside and as I'm putting these on, I'm like, it might look all right on the inside. I don't know, but this is how this gets done. And there is the little hatch to get into the eggs, uh, hinge right here, right there, and then the latches. Uh, not perfectly straight, so they are a bit stiff to go and actually latch, but the one nice thing about that is it's not gonna just come undone. Uh, they are pointing down, so uh, gravity will also help keep them down, but there's some tension on there, so you actually have to use some muscles to unlatch it, keep the birds safe. And, uh, yeah. So I scavenged a little bit of uh, tin roofing from a different project that now has a different roof. But here's the front. There's a little ramp to get them in, in the door. I had to uh, bend this up because I left a little too much overhang in the back. Um, or another way of putting it is I didn't give enough of a rise to allow the door swing up. Uh, either way could have fixed that. But, you know, this is the first and this is just going off of, you know, coming up with something in my head. Uh, if the chickens absolutely love this thing, then we'll make the, uh, the required modifications to all the subsequent ones. But as you can see, the door does open. You can get down in there and you got the little nesting boxes right here. Um, so, well, that's it. I will uh, give updates as uh, we get the chickens in here and they start to uh, give us signs of what needs to be improved or if anything needs to get improved. Um, 
I see things that need to get improved structurally, but if it works for the chickens, then okay. Um, if it don't, then we'll figure out what we need to change, try those modifications, try it again, and then, yeah. As always, have a great day.